Hey, look, speaking of speaking of uh, incomes and gigs and stuff, um, <laughs> people who are oh. people who are listening are not watching. We have a an image of Dory on the screen right now. Tell me, have, actually, have you seen this? Uh, check this out. Uh, this is someone doing a water painting of Dory. Have you seen this? No, I haven't. So it's it's oh. in um, what do you call it? Time Where's lapse. It? Oh, in time lapse. But where was it? Just where on, was it? Just Germany? On, just on oh, just on YouTube. This is okay. it. I mean, I'm, we wow. can't watch the whole thing, but you know, there's someone doing a you doing a time lapse painting a very, of, of you. Oh, it's looking very good, isn't it? There you go. If we skip, we, we're skipping through this, and you don't need to look at this. Wow. What do you reckon, mate? That's one. That's incredible. Why do uh, that is incredible. There you go. There's a there's a, a, a that is incredible. Who did it? What's his name? B. Uh, Just down in the left-hand corner there. Is it a Doyle or something? If I probably go to, um, I'm imagining if I go to their page, uh, F-A-Y-E-R-E-N, Farian Art. My goodness me. That's pretty cool, Thank eh? you. What a talent. Yeah. What a talent. And that actually looks like me and looks like the photograph. Yeah. So we'll 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 put a link to that on our and I'll send you a link to where you can get as well because you, you might have a oh, you might hey, have a new that's, that's you, you might have a new great. you might have a new Facebook profile photo there if you wanted to do it. But um oh. you've had a, a bit of a decently long involvement with uh Sir Peter. Have you done four films oh, yeah. with him now? Tell, yeah. the experience yeah. of that just tell me about it because you know, as well, far as Lord of the, the Rings people. go, this is this is you. I'll oh, meet the people. I love I love meet the people. I've been a I've been meet. a Peter Jackson fan since Bad Bad Taste in the eighties. That was when I found yeah. Peter. Meet the Feebles was extraordinary. And then that was my first experience with Peter and Fran. Um and the whole wingnut thing, which was extraordinary. And we were in the studio with some very with with a lot of the talent that you know, there were there was everybody. There was Stuart Davini, there was um Mark Wright, there was uh, Peter Veer Jones. There was, um, oh my God, there was there was everybody who was anybody who did the voices and everything. But I was so lucky because I get to I got I got to sing a lot of the songs. The Garden of Love, playing the you know, um, and then there was um, oh that was uh, Brian Sargent. Oh my God, and that's Mark Wright. I can tell the voices are amazing, and and that was that was Rich who was the theatre, and then that was Donna Rackerston. Um, oh, look, uh, uh, you have, n and that was the song. It was a beautiful song. I sang a lot of the songs. And then there was Robert the Hedgehog. Um, it was an incredible film. I mean, it was like the Muppets on drugs. <laughs> and, and that was my first association. And of course, with, with Richard, you know, um, from um, from Weta, from workshops, you know, Weta Workshops, who came in and, and that's where it all sort of, you know, they, they'd done lots of, they'd done a couple of films and, and whatever but oh my god that was an extraordinary experience to go in and do dialogue and sing uh, in the studio and then Danny Mulholland uh, and I were nominated for best actress in the New Zealand Film Awards that, <laughs> that year for, for the character which very, was just made very progressive which well it was but it would make ludicrous it made no sense <laughs> of the actual award how can it be in the best actress is two guys anyway but um and then of course I and then what came was I auditioned for the Lord of the Rings but um, which was good, and uh, there was a chance that Gimli might have happened, but but um, that didn't help because you know because who who was I? It was an unknown, and and they needed a sort of an international star, which was fair enough. Yeah. Um, and, um, and and you know, and that's the way it goes. Um, but then the Hobbit came along, which was extraordinary. Uh, you know, I had I had no idea what was going to happen. I, I think I had about three or four callbacks, and then I ran into Jed Brophy in the airport just after I'd been told I'd got the, the role of Dory. And Jed had just been told he'd just got Nori, but we had to keep it stumm. And we, said, we were walking from X to, from different parts of the airport towards each other. And there was something, we stopped and said, yes. And he said, yes. <laughs> oh, that's and, a... I, and he said, yes. And I said, yes. <laughs> and the rest is history. And that, that young man there, Adam Brown, became a very, very good friend of ours. And yeah. We three stay together. We're known as the as the naughty, the naughty, the naughty, do the Ori Dori and Nori, the naughty <laughs> or, or whatever we are. But it was great. We had such good backstories and we had fun. Um, and uh, it was amazing. It was 20, you know, that was extraordinary. 14 months that changed my life. But it was also, of course, at the beginning of the filming was the earthquake. 
right. which also nearly changed my life for a long, uh, a long because I couldn't find my wife for 45 minutes. Oh, right. Wow. Uh, and, uh, and, and of course, Pete Fran uh, and the production company, uh, everybody who was involved in Christchurch, they sent down all sorts of supplies. Um, they, they immediately sent us down to, to check on the families and then we brought the families back. And it was a really uh, interesting uh, beginning to, um, which sort of gave us a real call because all the international guys that were there who were the other dwarves, they were like, it suddenly made it very real um, that, that all of us as dwarves and the group became very close and we were very lucky, you know, the, you know, you know, we've we're, been talking about people like, you know, uh, Jimmy Nesbitt and, um, and uh, Aidan Turner and, uh, you know, and Richard uh, Armitage, the, you know, and, and we began in dear old Stephen um, Hunter, who, who, who I'd never met and he came in and, and, uh, you know, what a great bunch of, um, of, of, of mates and, and, and John Callan, of course, who's, uh, a friend of mine from way back. We've worked together in theatre many times. And um, so we, you know, that was, that was a, we were like bad schoolboys. The worst <laughs> one was at Peter Jackson. He was the naughtiest schoolboy of all. Because he called us his little bastards, which was quite <laughs> extraordinary. I mean, have you got a t-shirt that says little bastards? And he used to rib me all the time by saying, Mark, I'm not seeing enough, I'm not seeing enough um, character in your role. You need to you know, I need to see your face move a bit. And I said, Pete, I can't, I've got a prosthetic on. <laughs> and he was, I don't care. <laughs> but it was fun. And you know, like Martin Freeman, what an extraordinary actor, the choices he made for Bilbo Baggins. And, and of course, Serena McKellen, one of the great, you know, one of the great theatre and film and television actors of all time. Um, and, you know, everybody who was involved in it, for goodness sake, you know, so many people on it. And, and um, Stephen Fry, <laughs> All these people that we met, Billy Connolly, oh, for, who I'd met before, Billy, uh, you know, all these actors that came in to do these things, you know, um, and I can't remember so many names, so many different people, and mm. they were all brilliant. We had such a good time. It was it was like being at school, but then on being on holiday, you know, yeah. like, ah, it was <laughs> insane. Um, but it was good, you know, and uh, the New Zealand component was a very strong... Uh, affiliation there, um, you know, the Dino Gormans and, and all that, you know, we, we were very, very, uh, very, you know, William Kircher and, um, and Jed, well, specifically Jed Brophy. Jed never stops talking, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. And Peter Hamilton. I mean, these are great, you know, these are, these are really good experienced professional actors. And here we were thrust into this international film that, you know, we went to uh, Leicester Square for the opening of the first film. And here we were on Leicester Square. Oh, I have to tell you a great story. I went with Ben, my son, who was in the RAF at the time, and he came to be my guest at that. So they, we were turning up and being dropped off in the cars at Leicester Square. And uh, <laughs> and there was this guy, uh, people over in the audience, you know, in, in behind the behind the fencing saying, oh, yeah, come on, give us your, give us your, give us your autograph, uh, you know, and, like, and Cotton, give us your autograph, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone came before. I got out of the car. And this guy, yeah, hey, over here, mate, over here, over here. Yeah, come on, I want to get your autograph, yeah. So I walked over, <laughs> walked over this guy with Ben. He said, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, like, it was just, but it was great, you know. And, um, oh, my God, you know, all these wonderful, wonderful actors, you know. Kate Blanchett, you know. Oh, God. And you had conversations with them, you know. Uh, you know, about our business, you know, it, it's not as if, and that's what, that's, I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, we're all normal people. Yeah. There's nothing specifically special about that. We have that we're, uh, you know, we're all, we all do a job and we're very good at our jobs and we're no different to anyone else. It's just, it's the sensationalism and the, you know, personification of, you know, actors in films, you know, and, uh, you know, film acting is, is hard. But theatre acting is too. Yeah, and the for sure. theatre actors, the theatre actors work very, very hard, you know. And and that live component, when you're an actor and you've got an audience, that's really hard to beat. I mean, a film that's there forever, yeah. you get one or two shots, of that, but that's it. And yeah. there's very little feedback from the perspective of the crew. But when you're doing a play that really hums, really works, that momentum, that extraordinary. A wave of energy and feeling and, and emotion that comes back at you 
is equally as important as what you're putting out there as well.